Hello everyone. Um, in my talk here this morning I basically wish to make a call for more international cooperation on PhD programs in translation studies. But first, a short note on my background just to give you a bit of a context. I'm based in Denmark at the Old School of Business, University of Aarhus, and I'm part of a large department called Department of Language and Business Communication. At faculty level, we, we run a very well-organized PhD program uh, with careful and strict selection procedures, uh, with detailed PhD plans for each individual student, uh, plans which must be approved by both the supervisor, the head of the PhD program and the head of department. Uh, we have assessment procedures every six months of uh, the three-year program, including a final assessment made by an international committee based on the dissertation and an oral defense. Our students are required to participate in PhD courses worth 30 credits and they are encouraged to spend a semester abroad to become acquainted with different research environments. We also have well-described supervisor roles and good working conditions for our students. They have office space, access to internet, telephone library and secretarial assistance. They have funding available for participation in international conferences and PhD courses and they have a, a reasonably high salary. So generally, structure-wise, everything is neat and well organized. But in terms of content, our doctoral programs are very broad. At my uh, department, we participate in two national PhD school networks. Uh, one which focuses on languages and linguistics and one which focuses on communication as such. Even if these uh, PhD school networks uh, are much more narrow in scope than the general doctoral program that we run at faculty level, they are still very broadly targeted at uh, PhD students in languages, linguistics and communication with little room for courses specifically aimed at the study of translation. The result is that our students are trained mainly in basic linguistic disciplines such as semantics and pragmatics and in linguistic methods rather than in translation theory and TS relevant methods. So why not just organize a PhD school within translation studies then? And the obvious answer is that we have too few PhD students who work in that specific area. At our department we usually have some 10 to 15 PhD students at any given moment and only between two and four of them study translation. The situation is more or less similar in other regional centers in Denmark and at national level we probably only have between 10 and 15 PhD students in translation at one and the same time. Denmark may be an extreme case but I suspect that the situation is quite similar in many other European countries. In many uni universities in Europe, translation is integrated into broader faculties or departments of language, literature, communication and culture. And I suspect that this institutional broadness is reflected in their doctoral programs as well. There are probably few PhD schools dedicated entirely to translation studies and few PhD students in translation who are enrolled in translation studies specific PhD programs. Translation studies lacks critical mass and it's therefore a field in which international cooperation among other things on doctoral programs is particularly necessary and useful. So I therefore suggest that we join forces at international level in order to reach critical ma mass that we start cooperating even more than we do at present in order to create strong and focused doctoral programs in translation studies. I see at least three areas of international cooperation but the list can of course be ex expanded. One is joint PhD courses. There are already some initiatives, some international initiatives in this area, 
especially organized around intensive summer schools such as the Leuven based Cetra Summer School, <clears throat> the TRSS, the Translation Research Summer School, which is a collaboration between three British universities and one Hong Kong university. There is Summer Trans in Vienna and the Mutra PhD School, which is anchored in Saarbrücken, and so on and so forth. These initiatives are excellent, but even if they have a clear international orientation and attract students from all over the world, they are usually centered on one institution or based on partnerships between two, three or perhaps four universities. What I think could be nice, would be nice, is if we were to create a sort of a pool of translation specific PhD courses to which all universities involved in PhD education in translation in, say, Europe, could contribute courses and which all European PhD students in translation could draw upon. In this way, we could create the necessary critical mass and everyone could contribute and everyone would benefit. We already have a well-functioning forum in translation studies at European le level namely the EST, and I suggest that EST be used as a common platform for the course pool that I would like to see. And I'm not suggesting anything sophisticated. We could probably go far simply by setting up a common website in which we list all PhD courses in translation in Europe and then of course open up the courses and the website to all the PhD students in the field. Another area in which international cooperation would be beneficial is student exchange. In our doctoral program in Aarhus, a research stay at a foreign university is very much incurred, as I said, uh, but as it is, we usually have to rely on the personal contacts that the supervisors happen to have to individual researchers around uh, the world and the arrangements for our students stay abroad are largely based on a system of favors between friends. And I suggest that we professionalize this system a bit. In Aarhus, we would be happy to offer foreign PhD students the possibility of spending a semester with us, especially, of course, if our PhD students were offered a similar opportunity at another European university. And I think here we get back to the, here we are back to the common website, possibly in the context of uh, EST, where we could keep a list or a pool of universities at European level, um, universities who are interested in sending their PhD students to translate and research environments abroad, and who in return are willing to offer foreign PhD students the possibility of spending a research semester at their university. This would be a simple yet very useful initiative. My uh, final suggestion for international or European cooperation is that we set up a pool of senior researchers in translation studies who are willing to serve as external referees or assessors for PhD dissertations. Again, it could be a simple website with a list of the names of potential assessors and indication of their field of expertise. And again, the system uh, should be based on reciprocity. Everyone should contribute and everyone should be able to draw on the expertise of others. This list could be uh, expanded to also include potential supervisors or co-supervisors for institu institutions which lack expertise in translation studies or a specific kind of TS expertise. Now, I'm not sure that a pool of supervisors would be in high demand as uh, most universities that teach translation have in fact been building up expertise in translation studies over the past decade or so and now have their own staff of local senior researchers who can supervise PhD students. Another problem with a pool of potential supervisors would be the lack of reciprocity involved in it. 
a number of universities will wish to only draw on the resources offered, whereas others would only deliver resources. And I'm not confident that a one-way system uh, would actually work. But again, I do think that a common pool of assessors would be extremely useful, also because the number of PhD dissertations in, uh, in translation studies is growing, uh, and assessments have become a real issue. All in all, I'd like to see much more cooperation across national borders, but I do suggest that we start with relatively informal initiatives, which entail as little administrative work as possible, that we do as much as we can on a network basis alone, rather than set up heavy and complicated infrastructures. Despite all efforts towards harmonization within the European Union, national laws and regulations rarely converge, and national differences are still an obstacle to more formalized international initiatives, like, for example, joint degrees. But, by all means, let us network and cooperate on an informal basis as much as possible. Thank you very much.